Tim Brown. Welcome back to my Apple Podcast. If you caught my last episode, I highlighted iRig MicCast, which is a recorder that you can use with your iPhone to do some great podcasting. I'm actually using it right now. And for this episode, I'm going to highlight two applications. One's called Snap Guide for the iPhone and iPad, and VJ, specifically for the iPad. Let me go ahead and show you some quick features of Snap Guide, which I'm actually going to use to highlight VJ. So this is what Snap Guide actually looks like. This is the Feature tab, and with the Feature tab, you can go through and browse the different Snap Guides that have been created by others. And you're going to see that a lot of them are are menus, but you can use them to create any kind of how-to process. You can also explore other guides, and again, a lot of them are, are menus. You can check on the activity of everyone or your friends or your own activity. You can go to the Me tab, which basically shows you all of the guides that you created. Let me go ahead and walk you through the steps so you can see everything that goes into creating your own Snap Guide. You click Create. Let's go ahead and say how to make a mix. Click Next. Then it will prompt you to add supplies, and so I just put iPad and VJ application, which I'll show you in a bit. And then you have on the bottom here, add plus step. When you click that button, you have the option to add photos, videos, or text. So for example, when you click photos, you'll then be prompted to use your camera or to load from your camera roll. And the same thing is done with videos. So that's the basic setup. So let me go ahead and show you the sample demo that I set up for using VJ. I'm going to go through and take you through all of the pages that I set up. Here's my title page. Materials, iPad, VJ app by algorithm. Okay, first thing you have to do when using VJ is you want to import your videos in from your camera roll. You also want to import some music as well. Again, you can access your music library or use some of the samples provided. So you're now looking at a screen of both videos along the bottom. We have imported two videos along with some music. And above is where you're going to see the videos come together as you're mixing. And what's really cool too, you can add transition effects. You have the option to add blend, cube, swap, grid, mosaic, or push. And here's an example of me using the fader down below so that I can get an overlap of both videos. Each video has the option to add effects. So in this case I added twirl and the video twirls but the music twirls as well so you get a dual mix simultaneously. And what's great is while you're mixing you can actually record the whole thing and save it to your camera roll. And for the last slide I imported a video so I can show you how the mix turned out. And that's my tutorial on VJ. Well, I told you this was going to be a quick episode. Again, I used iRig to record this episode, and I recorded two applications at one time, SnapGuide and VJ. Hope you enjoy them. See you next time.